guys, it's Cloudy. Um, we're gonna be playing this game, Winds of Chance. Change. Winds of Change, not Chance. Winds of Change. Um, and we, I, I'm playing this game because I've heard that um, some people don't like the price game because it's scary. So we're playing the con game. But we will finish that game. I want to finish it, so we will be finishing that game. And yeah, I've watched a video of this. It looks amazing. So go and play it. And if it was free, you can look and see and get it yourself. So yeah, let's get into it. of Alicia where the spirits reign supreme. The rebellion is a oh, goodness, I can't hear it. You could turn up the sound if you can't hear it. This is still going to be like a uh, nine minutes type video, so yeah, I'm still going to part it in nine, vid nine minutes each video. And if you want to see my face while we, do, while we do videos, you should probably tell me that everything that's burning can do little to stop it from spreading. An immense pain assaults my head, assaults, and I throw my face into my hands. The same question repeatedly plays in my mind. What am I doing here? I have no knowledge of what happened up until this point. My brain is struggling to fill in the blanks, not gaining any headway. It was almost like, until this exact moment, I never existed. Oh, breaking the fourth wall already! <laughs> Then why is it now that I can condition has found me? Yeah, I cannot read words. Was there something I could do to put out these flames? Perhaps was I the cause of this inferno to begin with? A foolish thought, and one I throw away. If I was reasonable, then I wouldn't feel this sense of dread. An emotion shared by those who stand beside me. Come on, pick up the pace! If we waste any more time, we won't make it out alive. There is no way the Elder would let me let that one down. Okay, sorry. I feel like she's escorting me, and I should follow her. Could it be that she's been tasked with my protection? Grasp at the straws that are the memories in my mind. I'm only able to latch onto one, and it's the title that I go by. Are you even paying attention? This is very loud in my ears. I'm serious. What? I know who you are, Sirius. Did you hit your head or something? 
she scoffs as she turns the other way. But I know she's right. I'm not taking this seriously. It feels like a dream, and I doubt it that it's all happening. A few mo moments later, a sudden sensation startles me. Sensation? There's a firm grip on my shoulder. We aren't alone. Underneath a veil of fright, I turn to greet the second stranger. Valessa has our safety in mind, okay? Forgive her hot-headedness for me. Freedom isn't too much farther. Ooh, nice. We need to stay calm and think this through. Two girls like you, I'm sure you can come up with something. We'll be safe and sound before you know it. Oh, I'm a girl? Okay. Oh, okay. We weave through the houses and alleys to remain unseen. Doing our best to be completely silent, we bring no attention to ourselves. The flames encourage our urgency, and, we, and we're careful not to be fast or reckless. Our silence makes everything else more prominent, however. The screams of those being slaughtered fill me with the feeling of disgust. We need to find cover, and Felissa points out so points out a small a cl a co a co alcove waiting nearby. Okay, these words are getting to me. Look, they're dying because they panicked. We need to stay calm and think through this together. If we freak out, we'll only end up like them, you know. She has a point. Our first instinct was to run, but so was theirs. We should let them face the brunt of this attack. Um, why? Wait, so we're letting them die to buy us time? Yeah, see? That's what I was that's what I'm saying. Good idea. Let them soak it up for us. Um, there has to be another way to do this. I'm going to do this. What else are we supposed to do? We're not equipped to take them on alone. But using them like pawns, Ulrich. The people of Ulrich. Valinor deserve more than that. Ulrich. Nice. Do you have any better ideas? If we try to save them all, we'll die. I'm here to protect you two, not kill you. Nice. My suspicions are correct. Ulrich is the one protecting us. But why exactly are we, we a higher priority than the civilians? Because we are princesses! I venture, I guess, that we current, we're we currently in this Val North Valley. Okay, she just said it. Can I say it? The pain in my head pulses again, and I stumble back. As I let go out a groan, Ulrich rushes over to my side. His exaggerated concern is now understandable. It must be the smoke. Make sure to sit down. The lower you are right now, the better. Are you having trouble breathing? His blue eyes! They're entrancing. Oh, she has blue eyes too. Yeah, your blue eyes are cool, I guess. <laughs> I shake my head and let him know that it's not the smoke. This causes Velissa to chime in, voicing her concerns as well. Yeah, something else is going on here. She's been acting strange for a while now. I don't know who you guys are! Is there something you need to tell us? I can't seem to remember anything. Did some debris fall on your head back there? I'm starting to side with Valessa on this one. Come on, time to gear you up. He steps away for a few moments and expects the ground uh, ground around him. There's a brief period when I, where I can't see him, but he returns with a blade. The fire causes it to glisten, almost like it's begging me to take it. Take me. <laughs> I don't care what's going on in that head of yours, but it's not more important than your survival. Oh, We're goodness. all overwhelmed. It's not just you. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here, and then uh, pick it up, pick it up again in the next e episode. Um, better go to the next episode. Yeah. Uh, bye. See you later.